So in the first book, we meet Katitsi when she is at an orphanage. She is eating uh, breakfast, she's swimming with her friends, but it happens to be an involuntary swim. Another girl in the orphanage called Ruttan, she pushes Katitsi into the water and she cannot swim, mm. so she's terrified. But she also has really uh, good friends uh, and she befriends as well one of the caretakers, a lady. And one day, all of a sudden, a f foreign man appears, somebody she doesn't recognize with a big mustache and mm -hmm. says, I'm your father, you should come with us, with me, back to the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we see Katitsi waving to her friends at the orphanage uh, when she finally goes with him uh, to stay with the family. Her mother passed away when she was only a couple of years old mm -hmm. and uh, her father remarried, so there was a stepmother. And uh, part of the family was uh, a, a younger sibling, maybe two even, and then her older uh, siblings, two sisters and a brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, they earn money by the father owning a Tivoli or a small mobile amusement park. Mm -hmm. And they uh, traveled the country. In those days in Sweden, the Roma were not allowed to stay longer than three months in one place. So this was by law regulation? Yes. Okay. And they were chased away, mm -hmm. which meant that schooling was uh, virtually impossible. Yeah. And we can maybe take a look at this one, because here we can see her sister Rosa again. She performed at the Tivoli. She was the drummer. Mm -hmm. And actually on YouTube, you can look up Rosa Taikon and you will see one of these uh, clips when she's actually playing the drums. She saves her little brother from a fire in the uh, carriage in which they're living. If we look at these uh, illustrations by Björn Hedlund, we can tell that it's the late 60s. It's a slight psychedelic, uh, uh, language, posters from the si uh, 60s uh, come across, that kind of feeling. Ah, this, by the way, is the stepmother who was not particularly nice to Katitsi. Yeah. And I grew up with these books, like many people in Sweden who were kids in those days. And uh, for me, this stepmother became like the incarnation of uh, malevolence, somebody who really is uh, not nice. Mm. And every year, almost, there was a new book. So you could follow Katitsi, and for each book, the character is also growing oh, older, really? like yourself. Yeah, yeah. So it was like befriending somebody, mm. I would say. This growing up is a really, I think, gives a really very powerful sense of identification to the reader or like to the public. The English translation, it was, Tensta Konstalen and myself who really pushed this because if this is not being translated, the material will not circulate.